Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel Starship Troopers German Division. So today we want to make a review of this nice jacket. So it's a um, Starship Troopers jacket from the shop New American Jackets. And I want to make today a compare to an original uh, Starship Troopers jacket what we have seen 1997 in the movie. So, to do that I have prepared here um, on the left side you see the original jacket from 1997 and on the right side you see uh, the replica Starship Troopers jacket from New American Jackets Shop. Shop, shop. From New American Jackets Shop. So what, what you see at the first glance is um, a difference between, a slight difference between the color. So I mean um, the original jacket is more like a bit bluish and the replica jacket uh, is uh, more gray. So I would say really more gray. And what also is obvious um, that the original jacket is um, smaller, so in, in waist and is also a bit shorter. So, and uh, at, at the bottom side, it has also more the shape uh, what the armor has. So, if you take a look on the armor, so you see here this uh, bottom shape, and I think it was fitting uh, exactly to the shape of the original jacket. So, but this is uh, what we see in principle from, from outside. So if we if we compare some more details, so here you see um, we we have a different uh, style of making this um, arm pouch, and um, also the the patch is a bit uh, bigger on the replica. So the replica on the left side, the original now on the right side. Also compared to the uh, German division patch, which has the same size as the original. And if you compare it with the replica jacket, you see that the patch is a bit wider than the original. But, so from, from outside view, I would say it's um, really close made. Also, if we take a look uh, to the other side, to the wing patch on the arm, on the, on the left arm. So we see on the left side, that's the original patch. Here we have the replica patch. And this is the patch which we use on the German division. So if you cover it, you see uh, the replica patch is a bit wider than the original. So these are what we can see from, from outside. Um, next I want to show you um, how it looks um, if you wear such a jacket. So first I try the original one. So also they close from the other side. So uh, the original one has it on the left side and the replica, uh, the zip rank closes from the right side. So this is the look, how an original jacket looks like. So also maybe from the, from the side, the side view.
So, and by the way, I wear also a pair of original pants from the uh, Starship Troopers movie from 1997. Only that we have uh, the right compare. Next, I want to try the replica jacket. And then I will show you also how it fits combined with the armor. But let's try next. The replica chicken. So as I said, it's um, it's closer. The zip ring closes from the from the other side, and and that's the look. How this replica jacket uh, fits so it's a bit wider so this is um, a size M what I wear usually and uh, the original jacket is comparable to this size uh, as we have seen in the comparison uh, it is a bit longer than the original and how it looks like from the side side view the rear view. Okay, and you see uh, the slight uh, difference of color, but I think uh, the difference is not too big. So I think it's absolute acceptable. And also, by the way, did you know that in the original movie, the jacket of the Fatnet reporter was a bit brighter than all the others? Did you know that? Okay, so now, as a next step, I will wear an armor compared um, or over the uh, or a replica jacket. On this way, you can also see how to wear an armor without help. <laughs> so I use here one of my replica armors and I have closed the buckles on the right side and it's open on the left side. So and for that reason I can wear it simply by slipping in and putting it over. So now comes the very complicated part if you want to do that alone. So you have simply to close the buckle by yourself and sometime, sometimes I'm able to do that but sometimes not. <laughs> so it seems I have to I have to ask my my cam buddy to, to help me out. Okay, however, we got it. <laughs> and um, yeah, you see, it's not very easy. So, but uh, concerning this um, bit longer uh, replica jacket, you see now, of course, uh, it uh, looks on the uh, over the outer bottom of the of the armor. So, of course, that is no uh, big issue. So, for visual reasons, you could put it in, or you you make it get, make it a bit uh, shorter. So, but then, I think it would be really perfect. And as I know. It is the only replica what I have uh, seen over the years uh, for a, re a replica jacket. So up to now it was not known to me and um, I think from my point of view at least it is a clear recommendation so because it's simply the only source where we have seen such a nice Starship Troopers jacket so and I think it's it is optimal for for things like uh, cosplay so of, of course not for collectors but I think for cosplay it's a perfect piece 
uh, to, to create a Starship Troopers costume. So meanwhile I slipped again into the original jacket combined with the, with the armor and you will see here the photos uh, to compare both costumes. So on the left side the original uh, jacket and on the right side the Starship Troopers replica jacket from New American Jackets. So next I want to get out of this armor. So to get out it's um, really easy and we would like to continue to compare some more details of these two pieces. So again on the left side the original and on the right side the replica jackets. So let's take a look inside. So how it looks inside. So we see it is uh, made more in a, in a simple way. So for the original ones but you have uh, under the arms so some kind of net fabric to get in uh, airflow so under the arms if you take a look in inside the replica jacket you see it is um, so very well made I think so very impressive made so you have two pouches inside it is um, carefully sewed so as far as I see all the seams and yeah it it looks so from point of quality of, of a jacket um, like it should like yeah so I'm I'm really really surprised about the the quality so and for sure my conclusion would be it is a very good alternative way for cosplay um, to use uh, this replica made uh, jackets oh another another important point uh, to compare is maybe this detail of the arm so we have here such a kind of of patch so it's it's a kind of protector on the original you can feel there's also some I don't know what it is so some plastics in it it's some kind hard yeah and it's also shaped like a, a bent arm yeah and on the on the replica it is without any functionality so it's a, a piece of fabric sewed on it on the sewed on the arm and uh, the color of this patch is a bit it's a bit brighter so that is a obvious uh, difference and also on the originals the um, the rear part of the arm is made of a other material so you see here a difference in color and uh, if you feel it it uh, feels also more like cotton uh, whilst the outside material is uh, more like uh, polyester so and on the uh, replica one there is for all sides the same material used yeah so that is yet one detail. Another detail is the area of the where you can fix the rank patches. So here you feel on the original one it is a, a stronger material and uh, on the replica one it's um, very thin so it's made of a kind of 
I, I guess nylon or something like that. Um, while you have on the original, um, um, maybe there is also something inside, could be. So, but it is very consistent in the in the form, while here it is more, yeah, more flexible. So, however, let's try how it looks if we shift a rank sign over it. So on the original, of course, it fits perfect. And if we try the same on the replica jacket, then yeah, it's not so perfect, but I think it looks not bad. It looks not bad. So, so what, what could I say um, as a conclusion of uh, all this compare? So at least me, I'm very happy with this uh, buy and I think it's a, it's a very good alternative uh, for for somebody who is looking uh, for a Starship Troopers costume, so for cosplay, uh, because nowadays um, the original parts um, are at first um, expensive, yeah, and um, second, uh, they are only to get very rare, yeah, and if you get such a piece, then most likely you will not get it in your size what you need. So that's another problem. So and therefore I think it's a good um, occasion that we have this poss possibility to buy now these uh, replica jackets because they have also uh, different sizes available and they even offer uh, to, to sew it uh, according to your needings. One important point uh, maybe yet to say, so at least for uh, customers in Germany. Uh, in Germany um, the uh, delivery is without any problems, but you have to buy some customs fee. So um, at least here it is um, 11 additional euros, so be prepared for that. I cannot tell uh, how it is in other countries, however that is not part of the review. Okay, so in principle, that was all for today. Thank you very much for watching this uh, review clip and I hope we see us again next time on this channel. So, bye.